Okay. Hi, I'm Cindy. Rob Princess 954. Um, I'm really tired, but I wanted to go ahead and post something. I'm making a green smoothie, or I'm, I'm drinking one. I'm going to be really... <laughs> I'm not used to making YouTube videos. <laughs> I can already tell. But, um... <laughs> just act natural, okay? Like, you do this every day. Um... Mm. This is what I've been wanting to say. Victoria Batinko, in her story with the raw families, with her raw family, um, talked about eating, getting after five years, getting really tired of salads with the big heavy dressings. And so what I've been thinking is, oh, okay, well, I've switched to raw now about about a year, not quite, and this time, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was raw a few years as a teenager, but um, I was thinking, well, obviously I'm not going to be tired of, of big salads with fatty dressings yet, and this is something that she experienced after doing raw foods for five years, and so I'm thinking, no worries, anything's better than Big Mac, you know, <laughs> not that I was eating Big Mac. But I was eating sort of, um, I've been mostly vegetarian most of, 100% of the time for most of my life since the teenage years. But, um, so, okay, so I've been working nonstop. I've been working, having about six clients a day doing massages. And I do deep tissue. I do use my elbows and I use my forearms, so my hand. And I wanted to say this, by the way, something that, the raw foods have given me the alkaline foods is I don't get sore. I don't, I don't get sore in my joints anymore. And the minute when I used to, I used to be a sushi aficionado and that would be my weakness. And I would go every week, once a week or something and get sushi and then announce it to my raw food friends. Oh my gosh, I did my sushi. Well, you know, I noticed I would get sore. My joints would get sore after that. And I thought, well, it just means acids. That's all it is. And for me personally, I think it has to do with violence and karma on a, a level with these beings that have eyes. But that's just me personally because I know that other people's spiritual path is being very grateful for the animal protein that they have and using all of the parts of the animal, you know, not wasting and being gratitude and stuff like that. So there's not a judgment there. I think it's just my path and I don't even really want it. But... <laughs> I'm, anyway, I'm grateful that I've been I've been to India and I was taught to meditate and you know and not eat animal um, products. But so all I wanted to say was that you know I am tired though because I've been working on about six people a day at least, sometimes more, without a day off for about two weeks, and we've been taking care of some things like some other st stuff going on with my fiance's dad had open heart surgery and stuff like that and um, he's recovering well thank you but anyway so here I find myself tired and I'm thinking am I getting enough calories because everybody asks you are you getting enough calories well you know yeah I should be so I thought let's make this and it's a whole thing of kale a whole big bunch of kale with some as many frozen bananas as I needed probably just about three or something, three or maybe four. And I'm drinking it as much as I want tonight for dinner. I'm going to see how I feel because I had a large, um, I had a large, am I recording? I had a, a large uh, salad today and I had a large salad yesterday. This is so boring. I would want to watch this. No, I had a large salad yesterday and I had superfood smoothies as well. And that's good, you know, and stuff like that. But then I don't eat after 4 o'clock in the afternoon or maybe now it's 6.30. So I decided to have this because my energy's down. And I remember what a Chinese uh, medicine traditional doctor told me in Oregon, which they kept always telling me I had to eat meat. You've got to eat meat. You've got to eat meat. And I'm like, you know, I don't eat meat. But I don't eat meat, you know. And so then they'd say, if you get drained, it's really hard to get your energy back, you know, and I'm just like, oh my God, you know, so of course I did eventually a couple years later try salmon and stuff like that, but 
It really was, has been a, too acidic for me on a regular basis for my body. And anti-aging and what I'm, where I'm going with all this. And um, I want to cure my eyesight because I, I want to check out what's going on with my eyesight. And then I'm going to do some healing with my eyesight. But um, So I just wanted to say hello to people in raw food rehab since we're almost going to be coming to a close. And it's been such a joy and such a pleasure to be part of this group. Um, <laughs> yep, it makes a big difference. <laughs> It just makes a big difference um, to come home and just even read a posting, see the see Penny Shelton's uh, YouTube video, and the positive energy of every of everyone really, and people just really going you know from a place of wanting to be the best you can be and take care of your body, and um, so that's all for now. Next time maybe I'll do a written script. So I covered a couple of things. One, I covered like Victoria Batenko bringing up, hey, you know, you she wrote the Green for Life book. You can get tons of greens in your body now without any oil, without any salt. Actually, well, I put a pinch of sea salt in mine, but you don't have to. <laughs> and I put some agave in it because I don't have any dates. But And she makes a very good point. And... Um, I'm down to 125. When I started the raw food rehab, I was at 136, and I've been working out, uh, swimming laps, doing cardio, lifting weights, uh, fairly long walks, medium walks, doing some yoga and core floor exercises. In fact, I'm sitting on the floor now because I'm actually really tired, but I wanted to post this because I will hopefully follow it up uh, because first of all, my fiance fixed my little laptop. I have an, in, an Inspiron Mini Dell. It's a teeny tiny and it's pearl pink. And it was so sweet of him to send that to me. And I mean, I have an iBook and I have, you know, his PC is a larger screen, but this one's all set up with my things. And, you know, I'm, I'm set up as Raw Princess 954 now. And um, I really want to continue part of the movement, the raw foods movement. And I think we all play a part in sharing health for other people. You know, um, I think that there's really no study that says adding more fruits and vegetables is harmful. Most of the studies adding more raw fruits and vegetables and organic sprouts and juices to your program is pretty across the board agreed that's helpful. So, <laughs> I think that we do, you know, going, seeing what my father-in-law to be just went through with the hope and heart surgery and the triple bypass and all that, and then realizing what processed diets are really consist of, like, you know, and you see people, you go to visit and you see the people on the tables, there's like nothing raw. It's all cooked food, processed foods, and people start forgetting, you know, they just start forgetting, you know, that, um, to not cook stuff. <laughs> so why don't we just be part of the reminders? We'll be like a light, right? We'll be a reminder. So thank you so much. I'm out of here. I'm Cindy Cummins, Raw Princess 954. Please check out my blog spot, uh, rawprincess954.blogspot. It's really not a money maker at this point. However, I am an advanced biodynamic craniosacral therapist and a holistic practitioner. Um, I am working on you know, sharing information as much as I can as I develop my web presence. I'll share more things about dry brushing, about these types of things. This is very healthy to lay down on, on this on your on your back on the floor. And I usually get down on the floor because the energy on the floor is not as chaotic. Did you know that? And I learned that from traditional Chinese medicine. I believe it was feng shui. Um, if you get down on the floor, you can avoid some of the chaotic energy and anyway you can lay on these and don't roll right on it because you can bruise yourself or actually hurt yourself but you can gently change vertebra by vertebra and each each spot that you're at take a deep breath with all your weight on i'm just sitting up to show you but actually you'll be going to be laying down 
and then you lie down, you take a deep breath, and then you go the next vertebrae down, 